Right across Australia, this is Sunrise on 7. And now to Graham with today's weather as he continues the Griswold show <laughs> showdown. <laughs> uh, Manham, that is a beautiful part of the world. Koshi, I had no idea that this part of South Australia is mm. as spectacular as it is. I know that you've been raving on about South Australia for a really, really, really <laughs> long time. <laughs> um, oh, right, it's but... worth it. <laughs> and you're absolutely right. That drive from Mildura down here was probably one of the most spectacular runs we've had in a long time. You know, when you come along the top of the cliffs, cliff tops, mm -hmm. when you're looking down on the Murray, that is sensational. So we are in Manham today, home of where paddle steamers in Australia were born. Yep, we've got the Marion behind us, 1897. Do you remember that launch, Koshi? You were probably here. It was beautiful. <laughs> and this oh, thing on. still stands the test of time as <laughs> one of the only wood-fired, steam-driven, side paddle, U-butte, river running, gorgeous girls of the water. And we're going to see it today. She's a, she's a sailing. Let's have a look at the forecast for the first time. The way you look at it, beautiful pictures, a beautiful old paddle steamer rides yeah. once again. We'll see you in half an hour. All right, mate, looking forward to it. Arden Grant is along the Murray once again. Now, what is looking, GD, like a spectacular morning behind oh. you on the Murray? Just gorgeous, mate. In fact, mm. um, just take a look at the pictures of some of the of, uh, of the drive down yesterday from Mildura. It was it was quite spectacular. Wow. Having to cross the river oh, on the ferry amongst these gorgeous cliffs where you can sort of park on the top and just peer down and see the houseboats moving down underneath you. You get this wonderful panorama across the uh, across the country skyline. It was just simply a real treasure of a drive. Mm. And to get here to Manham, we thought, wow, could it get any prettier? And indeed, yes, it has. And, and not only that, home. Flash houseboats yep. as well, aren't they, going up and down oh. the, uh, the Murray now? Oh, you see virtually glass penthouses uh, no. going down there these days. You know, three and four storeys high with these outdoor spas on the back. Mm, it's amazing. Uh, where people are just having these wonderful holiday experiences. And particularly now that the water levels in the Murray are a little higher than they used to be, you can go that little bit further. So um, the paddle steamer we're on, for instance, is, uh, goes back to 1897. And it is an absolute treasure to behold. They have hand restored this thing from scratch. And it's a bunch of volunteers who get together to fire up that kiln there and get this old girl pumping, as we will in just a few minutes. Let's have a look at the forecast. There's Jono uh, hard at work uh, down there, just stoking the old girl up. Uh, Jono, rip a beard you've got there, mate. Do you have to have a beard like that to be able to work on this thing? Oh, it helps. It does help, does it? <laughs> How long does it actually take uh, to get the old girl up and running each time you run her? Well, we started yesterday, uh, early afternoon just with a little fire just to warm it up and raise a bit of steam. It takes that long yeah. to be able to so, go now. Yeah, well it's 100, 114 odd years old and uh, it's yeah. getting old so we just do it quietly and slowly. But once you've got 50 pound in the boiler it only takes about half an hour to come up from there. And you love this, don't you, mate? Oh, you live fun. for this. It's good fun. <laughs> it's funny to see the hands that go up when we say, we'd love to take a sailing, would you mind? It, uh, I think the whole community is down here, all hands on deck. Is that great? That's awesome. Uh, all right, see you in half an hour, Grant. Can't wait. Check in with Grant and get today's forecast. Beautiful South Australia. I feel like Sigrid Thornton and John Waters in that movie All the Rivers Run. Uh, I don't know how I remember it. I would have been about one and a half when it came out. But this is where that wonderful steam history began on the mighty Murray. In fact, this particular place where we are this morning in South Australia, Manham, is the home of paddle steamers in Australia. We're on board one that was built in 1897. Now, to give you an idea of how significant that is, this is the only... Um, paddle steamer, original wood-fired paddle steamer that takes overnight passengers around the world. That is the only one left. These are in such short supply anywhere and it's such a dedicated bunch of volunteers who keep this heritage running and keep this gorgeous river town looking as spectacular as it is. Now this, it's, it, this town is so pretty. It looks like it was made for a TV show. When you look at you know, the beautiful old historic homes up on the hilltop, you know, behind the town itself, uh, everywhere you look, the landscape is just 
spectacular. And when you think about the heritage of when the only way that many of these inland farms and stations were serviced were by these paddle steamers, is quite extraordinary, particularly when it comes to the men and women who keep that old girl pumping away. Listen to the sound of her. Oh, yeah, that's history. That's history right before your very eyes as we have a look at the forecast right around Australia. The amount of mechanics, the machinery, the care, the take and the precision that's involved in keeping one of these engines running these days is quite extraordinary. 8,000 man hours it's taken to turn this around. And you know what? We're, we're such a young country. We don't have a huge, long, enormous European history. It's great to see that people sort of keep some of these early traditions going. It really is fascinating. All right. OK, Grant. Thank you. Then you're now on the Murray River and, and just steaming away this morning, having a great time. Oh, this is classic stuff. This is classic stuff. Of course, you know, Australia is such a, a large agricultural uh, landmass and of course there's a lot of cropping, there's a lot of wool that stretch along the Murray River and these, is, these are the ways that a lot of that gear was brought out was on steam. Look at the size of that steering wheel. That is enormous. That's now, Captain, wheel. the nuances of driving something as old and as grand as this paddle steamer, it must be quite a tricky little beast to operate. Well, Grant, it's very unique, actually, and uh, we get quite a thrill being volunteers on here. And uh, the grand old boat, as I mentioned earlier, 114 years old, and it's the, the oldest wooden steam passenger vessel in the world that carries overnight passengers. And, we rather adore it, and we've got a good bunch of volunteers here. I love your communication system down to the boys uh, down below. Uh, can well, you just show how that operates? Yes, by all means. This is the mouthpiece, and this is, we talk to the engineer down below. <laughs> this, is the, uh, this is the control of where we go ahead or, uh, or we stop. And here, we pull this up or down, and that uh, either stops it or go ahead or go astern. The most, the most modern thing on this boat is a, is a microwave oven, quite frankly. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, we, we enjoy it very much. Can we just have one blast of that classic <laughs> sound? By all means. And uh, of course, <laughs> next year the boat's going up all the way <laughs> up to into New South Wales and Victoria to, uh, to uh, Wentworth, Mildura, Redcliffs, and it should be gone for about a month. Wow. And we carry overnight passengers, 30 of them, with a crew of yes. 12, and um, wow. it's a pretty comfortable. Boat. Good on you, Captain. Thank you so much. Well, the one thing you've got to remember is we've had drought for the last 10 years, so there's barely been any water in the Murray whatsoever. So they've been limited to really only being able to do a couple of hours at a time up and down. You know, now with the water levels back up to where they used to be, they can blaze pretty much all the way to New South Wales, which is quite remarkable. So we have a look at the forecast around Australia. A few showers and 25 for Adelaide, Perth partly cloudy and 24 and afternoon showers and storms for Darwin. And Right on cue. Isn't that a great sound? You can just hear it reverberating too off the hills around the area. Now what I love about this is that if there was, for instance, a barge going across like there is ahead of us there, just taking commuters across to the other side, uh, if there was no one down in the, in, in the steam engine at the time that we needed to make an emergency stop, we wouldn't stop because there's someone there to turn the power off. So it doesn't matter how much steering that the captain has available to him, he still can only just turn. He can't stop. OK. All right, Grant. It is, it is beautiful. All right, mate. See you in a half an hour. Now, Grant is in a beautiful part of the world on the Murray River. Look at those oh. paddle steamers. Madam, it's just gorgeous, mate. Our drive down from, um, from Mildura to here was just magnificent yesterday. Let's just take you on a little run in between these two glorious grand old ladies. Now, kids of Australia, when Koshi was a boy, these were the only forms of transport that existed. <laughs> and this one dates back to 1897, one of the old original... <laughs> Steam-powered, wood-fired paddle steamers in the world. They still do overnight trips on that grand old girl. Now, to the other side, the biggest girl on the Murray, the Murray Princess. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, she is so enormous when it goes up through the various stages of locks, you know, water locks as, uh, as you go up the Murray, she only just squeezes in. And look at that. Aren't they enormous in scale? You do forget just how big they are. And they have been somewhat landlocked over the last 10 years with the amount of drought that we have gone through and the lack of water in the Murray. Great to see them full powering ahead. Great to see community spirit that gets these traditions and this bit of history back on the water to continue as they were so long ago when they serviced the many farms, stations, uh, shearers, and growers of wheat up the Murray just to get that transport in and out. Let's have a look at the forecast around Australia. 
She's called Marion. She's a symbol of people power. When they can put their minds to, so to something, they can actually get their hands on the job and, and resurrect what was just really a big pile of wood uh, sitting there in a dry dock. They turned into a living, working memory of our historic past on the river. They're we'll just magnificent, Grant. I think they're beautiful. Have, being on a houseboat um, as a family holiday was on our bucket list. I think I've just bumped it up a little higher. So, nice inspiration. Thanks. Gorgeous. Very pretty. Making the Murray River his own backyard at the moment. Grant Denyer, what a spectacular morning it's been on the Murray this morning. Look at that. It doesn't get any more romantic. It doesn't get any more beautiful. It doesn't get any more Australian. This is just one of those classic scenes of yesteryear. And just to sort of celebrate some of the more quirky history, you know, in the 56 floods, we well, got the township behind us. You know what they used to be able to do? The floods were so big, they could actually float these things down the main street of the town and pull up next to the pub. Not use the first floor, because that was flooded, but then they'd climb across from the boat into the second floor of the pub, which, of course, was still open. That's how Australians roll. That's how much we love our history and our pubs as we take a look at the weather for the final time from here in South Australia. Let's, let's have a look. Well, it's a little different for the last 10 years. You could almost walk across the Murray uh, through the drought over the last 10 years, such was the water levels. Um, it's unfortunately nearly killed a lot of uh, rural produce. A lot of dairy farms along here have gone. In fact, in this council region alone, there's only one left. The rest, unfortunately, had to foreclose. So tough were the times. But great to see the water back and great to see the grand old ladies like this. The community spirit that's put her back on the water thanks to volunteer work. Good on you guys. Have a great weekend. Just Enjoy yourselves. Stunning. Stunning. Yeah. Why would anyone go down the Dan Danube or go barging in France when that thing is in your backyard? It is just sensational. Great. Thank you, Grant. See you next week. Have a good weekend. Right across Australia, this is Sunrise on 7.